one thing many of us will be making this season to ensure the happiness of old St. Nick is delicious cookies. That's right. And today I'm making my favorite cookies, chocolate chip cookies, whether you're making them for Santa or you're making them for gifts so for enjoy. your co-workers, which is a great gift. Mm -hmm. Always make baked we goods. We certainly appreciate it. We have it. some cookies. So I'll go through the ingredients. This is my recipe. I'll tell you something about this. Um, my mm -hmm. mom used to make chocolate chip cookies. I thought they were so delicious. So she shared the recipe with me one time. Mm -hmm. And what I learned is this was not a home recipe. It is literally the one that's on the back of the Nestle chocolate chip. So if you want <laughs> it, you can find it there. So let's go through the ingredients. You need two and one fourth cups of flour. Um, and then your salt is a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of baking soda. The first thing you're doing in this recipe, actually the first thing you need to do is preheat your oven. The second thing you're doing is you're going to combine your dries, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so you're going to mm -hmm. combine those, mix those together real nice. Mm -hmm. So that's step three or whatever. Okay, um, over here we have butter. So this is two sticks of butter. I always get unsalted butter because mm -hmm. um, then you can control your salt. But it needs to be softened butter. Um, yesterday, when I was making these, I kind of messed up because I accidentally melted the butter. And you can kind of see a difference here. So this one was softened butter, and then this one was melted butter. And there's a difference in texture. Interesting. So soften them. Don't, don't melt the butter because okay. it'll mess you up a little bit. Um, and then the other thing is, is your eggs. You're going to have two eggs. And what you want to do when you're baking is you want to make sure that those eggs get to room temperature. Don't ask me why. I don't know. I'm not a baker. I just learn from bakers. And then um, a teaspoon of vanilla. And then we have three fourths of granulated sugar. And then three fourths, sorry, cups. I'm just saying three fourths. And then three fourths of packed brown sugar. Mm -hmm. So we've preheated our oven. Mm -hmm. We have mixed together our dry ingredients. The next okay. thing we're going to do is we're going to put our other ingredients in here. So okay. here's the butter. I don't know if that'll come out easy for Let's you or see. not. No. No. Here you go. You want to <laughs> use this, this interesting spoon? Ooh. So yeah, we're going to put, so you can again, tell that's the here. softened right. butter. Right. Mm -hmm. I put it in the microwave for just a little bit, okay. not too long. Okay. Um, your vanilla, mm -hmm. your sugar, mm -hmm. both of your sugars, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're going to throw them in there. Okay. And what you're going to do is you will mix that together until it's nice and just creamy. Mm -hmm, yeah, so we'll lock it here. Okay. And then the other side is right here. So that's mixing together. Okay. It looks all clumpy. Don't get nervous, okay? You're mixing it together until it's nice and creamy. And then after this, once it's to a good texture where you're not really seeing chunks of butter, you're going to add your two eggs. Mm -hmm. And then you'll add them one at a time and you're going to mix them together. Okay. In between each one. Okay. All right. So we'll do step. I'm gonna crack seven the eggs and eight here while a Peg is in a little bit. Ready. Uh -huh. yeah. All right, we are back in the daytime kitchen, finishing up our chocolate chip cookies. And yes. uh, as you tuned in earlier, we saw us mixing the ingredients. Mm -hmm. We have everything in here except for the chocolate chips. Right. So where we left off, we added our eggs. Then what we did, uh, we added one egg at a time, mixing in between. Then what we did was we added our flour just a little bit at a time, make sure it got mixed in there, and then we mixed it all together. So at this point, I make them a little bit different than the recipe. What I do is I will put that in shrink wrap, which I have right here. Um, and then I put it in the fridge like that because I'm not, I only like a little bit of chocolate chips. But other people love chocolate chips, so what we'll do is we'll, you throw in your chocolate chips, you get to decide how many chocolate chips. And what you're going to do, you'll put this, you'll mix it around, mm -hmm. you'll put it in shrink wrap, and then you'll put it in the fridge. So okay. you'll leave that, I mean that's like if you, have the time to do that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. That's what you'll do. If you don't, if you don't have patience, that's okay. You can go straight to it. But it holds better if you put it in the shrink wrap for, you know, a couple of hours. This was actually in there all night. So then you come out and you have your cookies. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. So now the fun part. Mm. You take them. And here's another thing that I do. So obviously they're a little bit hard. Your hand warms them up. Mm -hmm. So I will squish them down. Yep. And then what I'll do is I'll actually grab more chocolate chips for my chocolate chip lovers. Oh, got And then it. I will hide them in here and roll them together in a ball. So what you're doing is you're going to place them on here on your cookie sheet about two inches apart. You'll roll them into balls 
Add some chocolate chips in there, girl. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I don't like as many chocolate chips. My family loves chocolate chips, so I make multiple different ways. If you're I making them for a gift, try and Brittany. find out what people like. And so um, what I do after I have them all in there, I'll put them in the oven, which was set at 375. I put them in there for about eight and a half minutes. And when I pull them out, they look like they're not done. Okay. And that's okay because they continue to bake. And then as soon as you can, put them in an airtight container because it actually keeps the, them nice and chewy like people like. Uh-huh. And then they come out. I'll tell you what, they're great, And they look Brittany. like this. Yes, they're wonderful. I'm really, really enjoying No, Spencer, I saw that. I can't be stealing Spencer, I can't believe this. Cookies. So we are going to have the recipe on our website because, you know, it's my old family recipe. Just look for chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> or, of course, you can look on the back of a Nestle's chocolate chip <laughs> bag. You can also find the exact same recipe there. My mom lied to me for oh, years. All right, stinker. well. Perfect timing. Yes, it is. Because our cookie should be done. They're pretty close to being done. We're still going to take them out. Oh. Oh, don't. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that looks delicious. Oh, that does look so good. Oh, my goodness. I'm Thank so you, excited. Brittany. And again, for our viewers, if they want the recipe, they can go online to DaytimeBlueRidge.com. And everybody's coming. Look at this. Hey. <laughs> hey. Thank we got you. that girl coming in. I love oh, it, you guys. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow, everyone.